Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 81 and today we will look into the append function. So before I jump into the code I assume that you might be having a jQuery file with you and you also added a reference of that into your head section. Next you have written some code in order to you know execute some jQuery instructions. All right. <clears throat> so now before we start I want you to look at the markup. So basically I have one h2 tag. I have one p tag with class alone and I got one div tag within that I have three paragraph tag and they have different classes. Now these classes I have manually defined here and they are not doing much. All they're doing is they are attaching a border to that element and uh, border size and the color is specified over here. Right. So this is pretty basic and now if I run this so you can imagine this will be black, black, and this should be blue. Okay, so append, right? View in browser. So indeed, it works fine. Right, so you're getting my point. Now, next, we are going to use the append function. Append means that we are appending something to a given selector. So over here, I'm selecting asking um, over here I'm asking jQuery to find all the paragraph who has the class alone. So jQuery will search this one and jQuery will also search at this. So now those are the selections and now the instruction is append. So it says that there is some content which is right here. It can be an uh, HTML or it can be a text. This content should go within these elements right so if I run this thing so you can see you know this content will be pasted right here you will have a structure something like this so this is an append right so let me delete that and let me hit the insert key again and now I'm going to save this thing so you're getting my idea this is the element all right which will hold this content so basically we are appending this content into this element. So let's done, I'm sorry, without running, let's do the refresh. So you can see, right? So black one is the P element, all right? And within that I have wrapped one div, which is right here. So this is wrapped inside this P element. So if I look at, even look at the markup, so you can see that uh, we are looking at this one okay so you can see you know this is a p tag and this is a text hi i am alone and within that we have appended this content now uh, the thing over here is that it is not necessary that it needs to be an html it can be a text if i want to so if i do this again and if i do the refresh here after alone you will see test See, so it works fine. So you got the idea how the append works. The basic bottom line is you have some content here which you want to append, but where? Beneath, I mean, within this element. So that's what's happening right here, right? So I hope you understand the append. Up next, we are going to look at append two. So I hope to see you there and thank you for listening and thank you for your time on this.